So Chad, happy to be here? I'm thrilled to be here. Hello. I'm on Dylan's phone, production strategy and stuff. And uh, I'm here to make a film. I'm not sure if you know if we're about we're here to make a film. It's rather exciting. Let's go. Yeah, oh, no. the sword turned out really good. The conqueror. <laughs> he'd put those pants on and he'd snuggle. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, he's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> let's go downtown. Yeah, let's go downtown. What needs to be in order for us to make a series or a feature film after this? Like, what needs to happen? To make a feature film, having $10 million is not enough. You're not doing gonna... a feature with $10 million would look like what we're doing right now. Well, hang on. You're not interested in attempting a low-budget version of Shadow of the Con Conqueror feature well, film? Well, if, if we have $10 million, then yes. Okay. You would, you would, I, if you, we if have you, 10 million, I'm gonna do it no matter what. It's just 10 million's the minimum. Yeah. Just, uh, cool. Ah, it was an IQ test. <laughs> Failed. <laughs> you look lovely. Oh. It's not on the screen. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? What that is? <laughs> it looks familiar. I, I, like, seen something in my head. I feel like I've seen you on the internet once or twice. You've <laughs> got that looks like me. Where's the, where's the, I can't he's very, he's very strange. He oh, doesn't like to wear normal clothes. Um, and uh, he's obsessed with sword. I might say a little humor. How am I going to balance, like, this chill and fanboy? Like, <laughs> how, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what to say. I, I, he's right. Yeah, I understood. Yeah. Well, that's one of the, of, like, bring great attention. He's here? No, he's not no, here. When but when I, yeah. Well, yeah, when I got to, Consult for him on the store. He wears brigandine that's blue and black, and I wear the fake chainmail hoodie. Yeah, it's a good look. Yeah, it works yeah. well, and it's it's comfortable that one. And so I, I default that one. I just the the brigandine. The real one? Well, even both. They're both heavy. Even the well, no, no. It's right. actually not the heavy. It's the constriction around the sure. stomach. You can't breathe. He's like a corset. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. And I wear it for the same reason. Vanity. I had the great idea of seeing if I could tuck it in my back, but I tried to pull it out and I can't. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I have a solution for that. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhat well known for this. So apparently I have to talk a bit about what happened in the past two days with Lloyd. Both days, I, my phone rang at five in the morning uh, because Lloyd was calling me to say that he had issues getting on the plane. We worked like crazy to bring Lloyd here. So Alex, as soon as he woke up, I managed to talk to him and I told him, go to the airport, go and find some Air Canada staff, ask them to resolve the situation. We have to 
make this work, we have to, we need Lloyd to come here. So Alex was a warrior and he spent the whole day at the airport trying to figure something out. And at some point, Lloyd was saying, well, guys, it's 9 p.m. in the UK. We booked a hotel for him in London so that he could uh, stay the night close to the hotel. And based on what the people at the airport here told us, there is no reason why he should be refused. Alex told me at night, I'm gonna keep my phone on, I'm gonna be ready to answer if ever Lloyd has problems tomorrow. He assured him that the Air Canada people here put a note on his file to make sure that he could get on. He got to the airport and at five in the morning, my phone rang. He was refused again. We tried speaking to them. We tried having the people from the airport here call them directly to understand what was happening, why they were refusing. Nobody at the airport in Heathrow wanted to help Lloyd. He even went to some security guards who said, well, I don't know what I can do to help you. By the way, your videos are good. So he was recognized and everything, but no one could help him. At first, we weren't even worried that Lloyd could get in. We thought we might have issues with Chad since uh, there's the situation in Australia is much more difficult. The people here said there's 99% sure that they're gonna let him in when he arrives here. There's no reason why he would get refused. But the people back there didn't wanna let him go on the plane. We had to find a solution to, because after two days of spending the entire day at the airport, both Lloyd and Alex were exhausted. So we had to call it and we had to say, we're sorry, Lloyd, for all the time that you've spent. Uh, go home and uh, we'll find another solution. And we're really sad about it because we loved working with Lloyd. He had a really good um, approach to the character. Francis had a backup actor just in case uh, someone from the exterior didn't show up. Our, our backup actor was great. He was, he just told us, yes, guys, I'm coming. So he isn't here yet, but he's arriving this afternoon. And uh, he will be rehearsing with Chad, Dawson and Patty to nail the scene. Again, I'm sorry, Lloyd, about what happened. I'm really sad we couldn't have you on set. So Bryce, oh. Bryce originally auditioned for the role of Dale, mm -hmm. and he was very close to having it. But Francis still wanted very much to work with Bryce, yeah. and since Lloyd had some issues with his flight, for Francis it was no question get Bryce to come in. I'm kind of touched by that. And, <laughs> you know, thank you guys so much. Hi, I'm Lyra from Shadow of the Conqueror and the Montreal crew here has given me a dark stone cart to use while I'm in Montreal filming for the Shadow of the Conqueror. Some people call it a white limo. It seems to be able to allow me to... What's that sound? Is that I you? No, no, it's not me. It's coming from my butt. Shade! Black and sword just poked a hole in my my white limo. <sighs> oh, you should be a bit more careful with that sword. You could hurt someone with it. Well, you know, I think I'm. Oh! Oh my God! Oh, uh, just let me just get this out of here. Oh, shade. Oh. Um, can I get a a, a light binder, Arik? Someone, ah oh, shit, that's the money man, that's the producer. I'm sure we still have the money man. Shad's gonna kill me. So I had no idea Shad was gonna be like having a speaking part. Surprise. I knew Lloyd was, but that's why I'm here. Excuse me. So I in the hotel room, I see the call sheet. And all I I've gotta warn you, I'm very dyslexic. So I couldn't quite tell like where he was on the page. Just that Shad M. Brooks was around. And then he's walking up saying he needs people coming in from Australia. And I thought, 
I know one person who's very important to all this who's coming from Australia, or would be. And uh, yeah, and then there was a couple seconds of internal screaming, and now we're here. Excellent. Hey, you want to you want me to explain the reasons why? That's it's the profiling. It's the slimmest sword I've seen Cal Missile make, all right? But see how subtle the full it is, and how smooth it is, and the very distinct kind of... And that's one of the things that they told me. The, the smoother the sword is, the harder it is, it is to make. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things they said. It's very, very challenging. The handle is the handle extremely is crazy. challenging. They've never and made the, But the blade is also not simple. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and then also just the colors. Because they say, if there's just a small bubble here, it's really, yeah, with the, oh. the 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 whole blade is uh, yeah. not good, and they've so. never made a hilt like this. Never, like no. As complex as this, and they, they had to develop new things to make it. And this yeah. is yeah. best work yeah. I've ever done. <laughs> True. And for it to be my sword, it's like <laughs> very, very satisfying. Yeah. This is awesome. Look, Dawson is casting light. All these shaded screws. I am the contractor. <laughs> Hydrate or die. Out across the border. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were caught trying to cross the border, same as us. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> 